Hey guys, Cody here with Import Image Racing. When you lower your BRZ, a few things happen. Number one, it looks better. Number two, it performs better. But something that can happen is a negative thing, literally, negative camber. Now you may like negative camber, it may give your car a more aggressive look, you may enjoy the way it looks, um, but others may not enjoy it and may not want to go through tires you know, significantly faster than others. So uh, today we're going to be installing some adjustable rear control arms. Now these things uh, are the Megan Racing ones, these are incredible, they look great, they have tons of adjustment. <laughs> when I zoom up on this powder coated finish, you guys are going to be like, whoa, uh, they look really good. They're really pretty. Um, SPC also makes a really good one. However, not so nice looking, but they will do the job as well. Um, so we sell all those here at Import Image Racing. You can pick and choose which one you like best and go that route. Uh, so today we're gonna try and get rid of our negative camber. Right now we have about negative three degrees of camber on the back of this car. Um, so again, after doing any sort of suspension modification whether it's coilovers control arms you're always going to want to get in alignment just to make sure it's good to go um, we are not crazy low we could still go lower on these coilovers however if we go too much lower we're just going to be a ridiculous amount of camber so in order to lower the car just that much more we're going to install these control arms Again, after you install these control arms, you're gonna to wanna to get an alignment. You can align it yourself by using the toe adjustments on the, on the car. Um, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's best to just take it to a professional and have them um, you know, do an alignment for you. But we're gonna install these today. I'm gonna to show you how to install them and uh, let you see what they look like. So obviously first step here, we're going to remove the wheel. All right, first things first, we're going to take a 17 millimeter wrench, put it on the back here and a 17 millimeter socket. And we are going to break this loose from the steering knuckle. Same thing, we're going to take and break this coilover loose from the control arm, 17 millimeter on both sides. Oh, I get gloves. Uh, I would advise wearing gloves because for some reason, Subaru heavily coats the underside of these with like this sticky rubber crap and it's gonna get all over you. All right, got one more to go back here, 17 millimeter. <clears throat> go ahead and switch over to a 14 millimeter and knock out this one on the end link. Sometimes these bolts need a little bit of finessing so I grab a hammer and I'll just kind of tap out some of these bolts until this thing is ready to drop. Okay, now I'm gonna get under here, sort of twist it as I pull on the bolts. And then that sucker's out of there. You can see all that gooey mess on the bottom of it. I don't know why they do that. It's only on the control arms. It's not really on anything else. So it's kind of weird, but anyways, we're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna grab our new Megan Racing lower control arm, slide that through the back of the frame here and get a bolt through that. Now this is adjustable. You can see these adjustments right here that we can make. However, this is going to correct most of our camber without even adjusting it. Now we're gonna take slide a bolt through the steering knuckle. Might take a little convincing to get this lined up. Now we can go ahead, grab a floor jack with a block of wood, 
and we're going to lift up on the control arm and that's going to bring us up to our sway bar end link and our coilover so we can put the bolts through those as well. So now you can see there's a million places to go with this. Uh, I'm going to show you where we put ours. You can kind of put it however you want it, um, but I'm going to show you where we have ours set up at and you can adjust the rest however you want it. Now front and back, uh, we have ours on this side here as it's a little bit closer um, to the factory position. And, but you know, you can kind of set that up however you want it. And then the coilover adjustment, you can put that in any of these three. We just put it in the center. Okay. You can go through just a nice polite tap of the hammer. Nothing crazy just to get it through. And then we can put our nuts back on. So now at your adjustments, basically we're gonna leave it where it is, dialed in the whole way. This is gonna remove the most camber. If you want to increase your camber or add more negative camber, you're actually gonna basically run this, you're gonna break, break these loose and spin it outwards. So what you might have to do is actually drop, uh, glove tour, uh, you might actually have to drop this down and basically twist it, extend this rod further, and then that's gonna push out on the bottom of the wheel or give you more negative camber. So if you're going for that stance boy look and you want a lot of camber, you can accomplish that just by pushing this out further with these adjustments. Now, speaking of alignments, if you're feeling frisky and want to try to mess with this yourself, you can go ahead and break this loose. This is a 19 millimeter. This is going to be your toe adjustment. So if we go this direction, you're gonna see it's gonna push your toe out further. So that's not what we want because our toe is actually going out too far at its neutral position here. So we're gonna actually go the opposite direction and we're gonna bring it forward like that. That's gonna pull it in. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a wrench on the back just to make sure that doesn't move on us. And we're going to tighten that down. And that should have got rid of most of our toe out on the front of the tire. So now I'm gonna leave the camera on the tire so you guys can see what's happening as I make the adjustment. I would still highly advise going to get your car a proper alignment, but that's gonna do the trick for you. You're gonna eliminate your camber or add camber, whichever you're trying to do and uh, you know you can adjust your toe with the factory adjustments and put your wheels back on and we're good to go. Best thing to do, right, is get one alignment, not 10, not five, whatever, just one alignment. So every time you mess with your suspension, you should get it realigned. So what I would do, go on to importimageracing.com, get your coilovers, get your sway bars, get your end links, get your lower control arms, get everything that you want for your BRZ, your WRX, whatever you are installing the parts on. Get it all at once. When you have all the parts in your cart, message our sales team, let them know, hey, look, I'm making a, a big purchase. I have all the suspension parts for this car that I'm installing. They will hook you up with some kind of discount because you are buying multiple items. Um, and then what you can do, install all of it at once, go get one alignment and you're done. You have your suspension set up done, good to go, and you get one alignment. So saves you some money and some time there getting multiple alignments every time you change up your suspension setup. So, uh, but that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I highly recommend the Megan Racing lower control arm or the SPC one's good as well. We carry both here at importimageracing.com as well as some other options if you're interested in those as well. Um, but that's gonna be it for today's video. We'll see you in the next one.